astonishing question because I, I have of. no answer I, what is well, I don't know though like, you can ask me like what is nothing in this case I figured it was the result of residual fatigue from not stopping yesterday but now that you moment's reflection but now that you reflect on it what is nothing or where am I at both Nothing for me is the state at the end of the first hypothesis. Ah. You know, it's kind of a, it's not a tinctured state, or tinted, mm. but, or limited. Um, and, but it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, which is okay because otherwise it wouldn't match that category. Nothing. What is nothing? I forgot um. to finish the job of cleaning my eyeglasses. I got halfway through. Here's some so. cheese and stuff if you want some here. The reason I ask it is that it's so difficult to... Uh, Did you bring that green thing? To find someone who can deal with that idea, nothing. Well, I have no idea whether I can deal with it or not. It's kind of a... Like they use the term... No thing? Yeah, like no thing. Mm -hmm. What would be dealing with it? Although I don't mean to turn the question back on you, but... It's that is an not nothing. Well. Yeah, that's true. That's not nothing. Mm. Well, actually, I was ended up... I ended up, you know... Actually, I ended up... <laughs> about the fact that um, there was a difference between our friend Bradley who went through this series of questions and my own rather superficial answer. So I was kind of puzzled at the fact I was willing to accept that superficial answer that I had and that I wasn't too interested in it, in, in, at least initially. The difference, be, I think because We'd reached the point of that exploration several times in our Parmenides class, and it had seemed crystal clear when I had come to those, I'll call them realizations. Mm. It had seemed crystal clear that, you know, that you can't have <coughs> a separate, I see it this way, a separation between self and something. You can't say, I'm cutting it off. Self doesn't go as far as this. And then the explanation with Bradley was so good. Although I would have liked in a way to have seen it grab a hold of its tail, Euroboric-like, and say something like, then this object has a telos, which we yes. started with. Yes. But the implication of that is that it too is at every moment perfect, right? Right? I mean, it fits its circumstances completely, it fits its past completely, it's setting into its future perfectly, consistently with all of its qualities and characteristics mm -hmm. of its production, of its being. So, I really liked that discussion, but I felt like um, we didn't, so we ended up concluding in terms of the mass terminology, I mean, uh, general terminology, samsara is nirvana, nirvana is samsara. But somehow, I would have liked to have seen that uh, more particularized, brought back to its base in stuff. Yeah. And that would have maybe only been another step, you know, yeah. such as the one I suggested, which... But, or yeah. in another way of thinking, like, is this therefore always in a state of oneness with its circumstances, so to speak? It's, you know, is there, so that it, the, its motion on towards its telos, I don't know, is that and it's easy. high degree of unity? Yeah. <laughs> Look, we don't have to worry about it. Is that right? Because can, Bradley's here? We can get a volunteer. A volunteer, oh, sorry Bradley. <laughs> a volunteer. Uh, Brad, Brad, Bradley? 
say sure. Okay. We would like you to do a history. Okay. I, have you I never looked at history? Now it's a good time to look okay. at history, okay. Here, uh, would you pass this to him, please? <laughs> <clears throat> Say, do a complete history on that. Pass this to Beverly. Okay. 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 You can trace its origin, can you not? How far? Well, I mean, strictly speaking, right? Like, all the way back to uh, the earth where this cocoa chocolate thing came from, mm -hmm. right? Or, yep. And the grain and all the way. Yeah, that's all, that's first stage. Now go back further. <laughs> Josh, help. Um. <laughs> like, look, how, how, how many years is uh, available in time? How many years? Huh? How many years? Unlimited, I guess. Like, oh, <clears throat> then the whatever the elements of that, yeah. it has an unlimited history. Is it likely that a particle of that could then have been playing a role uh, 5,000 years ago in some other form? Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Oh. Oh. Say, so, would you do the same thing for, uh, uh, this cup, of course, I can't pass that around, but that cup. Okay, this. History of that. Yeah, you can do the same thing. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Do, uh, do the same thing now with that thing. <clears throat> Say, is it possible that one particular molecule of carbon uh, is present in that piece of whatever that is? Uh, sure. And if it had a history, could it then appear again and again in a variety of forms? Yeah, it seems recycled, right? Uh, it it could even have shown up in Achilles' eye. <laughs> yeah. A particular carbon atom, right? Is that right? Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah. as you're going to make a history just of those three things, Right? Well, we want you to do that to get practice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's right? Yeah. Preliminary. I'm not sure, but what are we practicing? What is well, the practice heading towards? That, from that once he has a little practice on these things, then he's going to do it for everything in this room. Hmm. Including you and he I. Hesitate, including sure. you and I. Right? Mm hmm. No. Just even if this, so now, this would take a lifetime. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about time. Okay. We want you then to come together and bring all of that together. Okay. To account for this present. Wow, nice. Yeah. Right? Even more. Cosmic. <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. And the coffee, and the coffee beans, mm -hmm. all the way. Mm -hmm. Is that right? So all of this transformation of these elements have all come together right now with this incredible history for us to reflect on it. Hmm. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Because we want to just understand the moment, don't we? What's what's here? Just right. We just want to just take a look at what's what's here. Yes. 
and we want to do it with using our technique of Just historical analysis. Mm -hmm. Right? Historical. We want to do it right. <laughs> The new technique. Or we Detail. could slip over into hysterical because they're very close. Mm -hmm. Historical, hysterical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And all of the struggles that everything has gone through in order to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Because we want to understand the moment historically, don't we? Who's this That's a different about? type of who's this story talking about? Because I'm giving up on that idea <laughs> pretty fast. Right. So you're going to prepare a report, right? That's going to be well documented to show everything, including whatever it made up, Jeff is made up of, right? and the history of every particle, where it came from, and all the things it went through in order to come together into a unity. Is that right? Because we want to understand the moment, don't we? Hmm. Well, yes. Well, but, uh, but, you know, are we once again leaving out the... I think you're going to go there, because you are known as Pierre the Incredible. So I think you're going to go there. but. How do we connect the self in with all this? That, or is it... Pro that's absolutely right. Mm. <clears throat> in other words, after he's done this preliminary... Preliminary. <laughs> dust it off. <laughs> right? We, wanted, we want him to deal with the next level of thought. Right? Yes. That brother that went by? Yeah to a history of herself. Hmm. A history of herself. Mm. herself. Yeah, she's weird. I know her. What in the... S I mean... Hi, Nancy. Huh? Yeah. This, this is impossible to do just with one thing. With one thing, it's impossible. Oh. Don't worry about impossible. You got all the time in the world. You may have to have innumerable rebirths to do this. And each time you're reborn, you're going to take a different particular thing to make a history of it so that given enough reincarnations, he should be able at some point where we all come together once again and he's going to now finish the study. No, I, I, this makes me want to get out of the realm of generation. Right, the, the realm of. I'm interested in. Uh, in the what the self thing? Yeah. Oh. Mm. And it's and it's combina uh, combination, right, Barb? Well, or, or or it's yeah, role. Yeah, like it's role. It's role. Yeah, I think you you did it last night, but I I don't I hate giving away punchlines, so. Besides, he always constructs a very interesting, intricate, and artful path, right? Actually, yeah, but actually this morning, the self came up in mm. regards to the talk last night upon Did reflection. Did it? Yeah. Hmm. In what way, sir? Is Nirvana self? Hmm. Oh, I like that question. Mm. Yes. Yeah. and the role of the self in regards to those mm. two. So you, you're still interested in making histories? If that would highlight, yes. Say. Is it possible we can use a historical method that we've been developing for each of the hypotheses? Hmm. Wow, I like the way he tied that together That's with our assignment for well, how, tomorrow. <laughs> nice yeah. job. Oh. Wait, how would you tie how would you tie our historical method with the hypotheses? How do you see that? Well, don't, weren't, weren't we asked to um, 
in a way to see ugh, what the necessity of two is from one. Yeah. And wouldn't that be a way of, and likewise for the other hypotheses, wouldn't that be, or even from his own statement of his own hypotheses to the first, wouldn't that be a kind of historical development, much like we were asked in terms of these objects? Because you'd have to know the, the first molecule and then what happened to the molecule as it progressed through the hypothesis, right. is what I'm thinking. Something similar? I might have the tendency to cue the stone with an axe and not a <laughs> so. chisel. That stopped him. It uh, did. Noticed. Well, no, I just even the historical method, I, <laughs> like I've never even, even thought about that really that way. <laughs> the forces that come into play would be very fascinating. <laughs> like then you'd have to look at what forces are within each yeah. hypothesis, yeah. so to speak, to so yeah. describe. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because yeah. they are right? right. Like this is in some way, and the hypotheses are. So you could should mm. be able to do it to both. Mm. Which is interesting. Like that's kind of like. Uh, like those hypotheses have in some way a body or exist. Oh, you did? Thank you. So, would you agree all you need to do is to figure out what we were doing a moment ago is just to take a look at the moment? Right, you were going to do all of that work? Yeah. Right, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you need to do the next step in your study, you see. Which is? Well, wouldn't you have demonstrated that there's an amazing intelligibility in all of the transformations? Oh. Over billions of years? Well, yeah. Yeah, how would you do that, though? What? Right? Yeah, yeah, how would you do that? Don't, you're going to do it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Jesus. He forgets his job. Amazing intelligibility. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, would you not inevitably then have to deal with where that order comes from? Yes. And that astonishing structure that is presupposed that makes every moment this intelligible since you've done all the research to show that each thing fits so perfectly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then you'd be interesting, would you not, in um, what is the model that has produced all of those changes? Sorry, yeah. what was it that produced all the changes? The model. Yes. Or some kind of model or yeah. some kind of intelligible source. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where do you think that source is? In my immediate answer is uh, in the mind of God. That's not, that's theological and that's good. That's because you forgot about the third hypothesis. <laughs> but now that you reflect on the third hypothesis, go ahead. The gap. Yes. And how would you discuss it so that the rest of us can get a recollection of it? Well, um, where is the order from one moment to the next coming from. Mm -hmm. And you would say? The gap in the third hypothesis, uh, where what? like all is emerging intelligibly and ordered from the gap. Oh, so the gap must be the source of all of the intelligibility that is expressed in each successive moment throughout all time. Well, is it the source or the through which? I would like that. I would prefer that. Through which it expresses the intelligibility most appropriate for the particular microsecond of development. Right. Okay. Yeah. So then if you have this interest in history, 
what you're just looking at is the way in which it manifests itself. Yeah. Yeah. But now you want to find out the source of it. Now you're going to need something other than history, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're now going to look for the model and the nature of the intelligibility. Right. Through which it's coming, yeah. through the yeah. gap. Yeah. 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 Do you have to look further uh, to discover where the gap is? Uh, how much time would you give yourself to search for the, uh, oh, it's every single yeah. microsecond. In oh, so you've got plenty of things to study, <laughs> which is the same thing at every gap. But its origin seems different. I Would the origin be different, or is always the origin the same? <clears throat> no, the same, but... Oh, but it then... But seeing the gap, wouldn't it seem the gap be different than seeing the origin through which is occurring through the gap? Go ahead. Perhaps you're right. Go ahead. I don't know. No, no, well, don't worry about not knowing. Keep going. They seem the same. There might be a difference between, come on, that through which something acts and, and the uh, intelligibility in the gap. Do it, can you do it again? Is that right? No, no, it's what your, th it's your thought. Yeah, that's, but I'm thinking right now they're not different. Oh, okay. If they're not different, your work is already divided by half. Right. Right. Right, right. Mm. Yeah. But you still have to ask, don't you, what is the source of the intelligibility? Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's... It's going to do it. Well, it sounded like you... Mm. And we want to know, don't we, how that intelligibility in any way reflects or the presence of the self. That's it. Don't we? Right. Well, what question would you pose to him to go from an intelligibility to the idea of the self? I don't have a question at the moment. Should I ask Julia? Mm. Julia, what? Hey, hey, what question would hey, you... hey, hey, look who's... <laughs> Whoa! Right at the he right looks, time? He has a <laughs> right answer. at the right time? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, let's just make believe, right? There's nothing going on. By the way, uh, Brad, mm. do you have a question for Igmar? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. Are we fortunate? We are. Go ahead. Igmar, hi. If this moment, right, is uh, intelligible, how does the self relate to the intelligibility of the moment? If, now give them back, if we are working on the third hypothesis. Mm. If, uh. if all that is manifesting is through the gap in the third hypothesis. Ah, good. He's thinking. This is good. Um, as a simultaneous <laughs> whole. The self, it's capital S? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. That just pushes the question back, right? To what is the source of the simultaneous whole? And how is that, how, is, how does it relate, the self, to the intelligibility <laughs> that manifests in every passing moment through the gap? Okay? Mm-hmm. 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 What is the source mm. of the simultaneous whole? Mm. Or the relation between yeah. them. Yeah, or the relation. Yeah. Yeah. The relation between them. I don't know. Dynamic. That yeah, seems to go for the how answers. Have you noticed that? Yes, twice. Twice. How, mm. yeah. We're after the... What? Yeah, yeah. 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 And the self. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. the self in relation to it. Hmm. But 
it wouldn't, I mean, really, even if you said something uh, manifests itself as a simultaneous whole, for example, mm -hmm. wouldn't you still have to say, well, what is it that manifests as, well, yeah, sorry, just another way of putting the same question. Mm -hmm. What is it that is manifested as a simultaneous whole such that it is, the re shows the relationship between the self and, yes, good, okay. Beauty. How do you answer these questions, by the way? Accurately. Beauty. English preferably. <laughs> beauty, English it, beauty itself. English preferably. The divine luminosity. Deeply. Profoundly. What do you think about as an answer? Doesn't answer it. It doesn't? No. Oh, okay. Why not? Uh, <clears throat> I, it's not... I'm not satisfied. Oh. Like, it doesn't answer because you're not satisfied? Yeah, and or? I'll tell you why. Because um, is beauty the self? Yeah. It is? Yes. How is it? How, hi. How is beauty the self? Keeping in mind, we're not talking about some quality, but a so self. Far self, that's self. All we're talking about. Keeping in mind that we're not talking about some quality of beauty, but no, yeah. a self-subsisting reality, right? An essence, hmm. an unchanging essence. Okay, so then why do you have two different words for the same thing? Hmm. Why do we have two different words for the same yeah. thing? And how do you see I would say because it's not enough to say hmm. beauty to capture the idea that there's a power that the self has to know itself, you're not going to get that out of merely saying beauty. You have to say that again, please. As I, what I said was that if you use the word beauty, what, you're asking why there are two different words, right? Beauty is not enough to capture the idea that there's a power within that thing to know itself, to turn the mind so around the and know itself. So self and beauty would be different then? Different terms. Yes. No, they'd be different. Different terms, yes. Are it's you saying self, they're different so in reality? Ask him so self is one is. thing and beauty is another thing? No, but no, that's not my claim. That's what you're saying. No, <laughs> I'm saying there's different terms. What? Just anyway, I, this is maybe going to take us. Well, would self-subsisting essence answer the question anyway, Bradley? <laughs> the original question is right. How does the self? relate to the moment being manifested through the third hypothesis, the mm -hmm. gap. Mm -hmm. That's our question, right? And you said beauty. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't say beauty. No, there was a, an additional question. The what? It ter what is so the source of? We mm -hmm. went from a how to a what, apparently. <clears throat> oh, it lost the thread. The thread was that we labored on. It's that we're looking for the source of the intelligibility in the everyday world. And we posited it looks like we have to have some model that can explain the source of that intelligibility. Right. And so it was hypothesized that maybe it is in the gap. There may be a model but if there is a model that will show the intelligibility, does it include the idea of the self or not? So let's assume then there is the intelligibility in the gap. Mm -hmm. We can call it a paradigm or an idea, but doesn't answer the question how it relates to the self. Right. Now, if someone were to advance the notion beauty, we would say, yes, uh, you might say that intelligibility in that gap is beautiful, or beauty itself, but we haven't answered the question of relationship between the intelligibility in the gap and the self. Right. Right? And if someone then were just to say, wait a while, I think it's the idea of beauty. 
You're familiar with the second hypothesis, are you not? Yes. Would you not agree that that's a good place to assign the idea of beauty? Yes. And the fact that you can even say it's reflective and recursive and reflects upon itself. Yes. But that still doesn't explain the idea of the presence of the self. Right. And its relationship to the intelligibility that can account for all of the order in the everyday moment. Is that right? That's right. I have an example of myself this morning. Give an example of? Of something that happened to me this morning where I had to, um, I had lost sight of myself and then I regained it. Mm. So it was, and that was beautiful. Oh. Could you say a few more words about well, it? Well, so I had, I had to do laundry, my laundry. And um, I had my <laughs> the other laund the other guy's laundry. <laughs> so um, and I'm thinking, okay, so um, so normally I would I would start doing Tony's laundry, right? I'd go, okay, I'll do his, and I organize his and do it. And our dryer doesn't work, so. You have to do some, and then hang it up, and do some more, and hang it up. But this morning, um, I started to do that, and then I thought, wait a minute. I started to get angry, and I, I feel anger. And I thought, no, I don't want to be angry. I mean, I just, I didn't, I just didn't want to go there. Uh, so I thought, okay. Then. Let me, let's see, how did this go? I decided, okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna separate them. And then it dawned on me that I had my own laundry here, and he had his own laundry yeah. here. Yeah. And it was like, okay, then I'm gonna do my laundry. And not after I do his, but I'm going to do mine first. Ah, and that. then I said, thank you. It was like, great. And I don't have that much. And it was like, and I don't have that much to do of the laundry. Yeah. On my own. So I yeah. told him, look, you're on your own with yours. My so it was like, what a relief that was, and it was beautiful yeah. and intelligible. It was like, now I could Far distinguish mine from his, and and I put it into words, and it was kind of like last night, that dream. I explore. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's, a it's a nice personal reflection, but did it answer our question? Well, well I don't know. See, you I have just, to help her do you that. So you have to help her do that. Day See, to day at that, in, in would you say the word self is important in your explanation? Yeah. In what way? Well, it wasn't until I found myself in this picture that I was able to feel relieved. And I felt like, okay, that's intelligible. And it, it gave me a sense of, like, Everything's, yeah, freedom. It was a sense of freedom. And I was so free that I could put it into words to him, and he didn't object. It was like crystal clear. Yeah. You're seeing a connection between intelligibility and the self. And beauty. And beauty, right. And the moment of beauty, too. And sure, logos. put it in there. Yeah. And the logos, right. And the logos. And justice. And justice, yeah. Yeah. And truth. yeah. Yeah. Well, gee, I thought it was going to be... It's loaded. And as a result, <laughs> and as a result a that, that anger was gone. And I was able to think about other stuff that I have to do today. Because he has stuff he wants me to do with him, and he hasn't told me before. And I've already made other plans. And so so I, I didn't want my mind contaminated with anger. I had to have calmness to think about these other things. So, mm. so it just helped everything. Mm. Mm. 
But I'm not sure how I got there. It just You don't have to worry about okay. how you got there. Okay. You're helping Brad come to an understanding on this issue, right? <laughs> Right. Huh? <laughs> well, um, something occurred, that's for sure, and right herself emerged. Right. And it seems like, like, how would you explain that? The emergence. Yeah, that's a good question. Let's say. She, she left out one small word, oh. that she saw there was injustice in continuing what she had been doing, uh. and that she wanted to be fair with herself. That's just, isn't it? Yeah, that anger went along with my thinking. It was yeah. unjust, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that good. kept me... Mm. Yeah. Because I was thinking it was just a dropping, but that's different. That's it seemed. Yeah. Right. So I was in this kind of tension of feeling the injustice and yet knowing I needed to get the task done. And I kind of was in this state of um, between the two. She's giving us a great example, personal example, that answers this question. We have to take that answer <coughs> and fit it into what we're now talking about, which is the occurrence of some intelligibility emerging into the moment from somewhere that includes both intelligibility and the self. And she's offering it, isn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. And therefore, wouldn't you agree that when, uh, let me just ask Barbara and uh, Nancy together, don't you think it's fair for him to do the work and put it together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Sure. They think you that you should that. put it together. I know, not me. <laughs> You can, even, you can even say, maybe we have to go back to history. Sure. Right? And have a study of truly her whole psychological, philosophical history brought her to this moment. Right? And she's tying it into a dream. Right? Into the moment. And as a consequence, is seeing something that has transformed her, her, the self, mm. and gave her a view of the value of the self, did it not? The importance of being true to yourself? Yeah. I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of discovering that right now. Mm-hmm. in the moment that there was something about her state of mind that she mm. did not yes she, she did not she did not want it was not the state of mind she wanted to so she she puzzled about that mm -hmm. right um, that, that seems really yeah. That seems really key. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I can't, you know, every moment can't that can't that be. That's right. And she saw it, and Regina offered the word mm -hmm. justice, mm -hmm. right? Because she saw that she was not, she was not acting in the spirit of, right? That was an injustice. Right. But she questioned that. That she questioned reality. that. This is not. Right. 
And then another thing that happened was, you know, in, in that state of not wanting that state of mind and feeling that I, I was starting to separate the clothes into, okay, these need to be washed in cold water, these need to be washed in warm water, these are whites, these are dark. And in the process of that separating and distinguishing, I suddenly distinguished between myself and his. You know, I said, wait a minute. Let me just give this one big distinction here. What stood out for me the most was you were saying no, there was this moment of separation. Yeah. And so I saw it as a, not only physical, but that spiritual portion. And then how do you how do you separate? So right. it made it that part stood out most of all for me, also because you guys were pulling the similarities and the distinctions between the idea of the self and beauty. And so I was thinking, where, what is that moment that you separate, or how do well, you separate? Well, also there was this issue of the ratio. Like, as I start, like I knew I only had a few clothes compared to his, oh. and his were heavy. And, oh wow! And so, as I was making the separation, it was like it didn't feel right that I should be going through all this separation and all this work, lifting these heavy clothes and stuff when I knew. Mine were smaller, so that also contributed to the sense of this isn't right. But going uh, back to this the isn't moment. me. Something here is not me. Right. And going Something back was not me. Right. 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 Something was not myself. Right. That's right. Something was alien. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was in that kind of okay? context that I said, whoa, here's a separation. There is the not me and the me. Mm. Yeah. And then you say you saw yourself. And, the, and getting into that allowed you to make a judgment that turned out to be right. Yeah, and totally eliminated that bad right. stage. A certain excellence emerged. Right. Right. And match the quality of the scene that you had in the dream, or match the dynamics of your dream. Like it, it matched an a intelligible structure, what you were going through in that moment. Well, it. Um, Is that true? Well, Your Honor. <laughs> it was, uh, it allowed me. That's the part of justice. It allowed me to. Um, see myself. I mean, in the dream, I wasn't even seeing myself. I was just caught up in these other people. You've reflected on the dream and done some work on the dynamics of it and the states of mind that you were in. And that created like the fertile soil for you in that moment when you asked that question to see clearly that those were not your clothes. Perhaps so. Not only that. But it wasn't until I was driving here today <laughs> that I said, hey, this is about that dream. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I spent an hour reflecting on the dream before I went to sleep yeah, last night. Right. But but in relation to how Dr Pierre explored that dream last night, there were two moments where you saw yourself, weren't there? Yeah, there were the two moments where I said, where I, I saw that that was not me. Mm -hmm. That I was not me. Same language. Well, what was the, what were those, um... What, so, What's the difference between seeing it in the dream and in your present? Hmm. Well, in the dream last night, I think there were two, the two scenes mm -hmm. where those are not me. But in the present today, I was able to see um, that's not me, but this is me. I was able to see what I, what the, in the positive, what the me is. And it was like, I was relieved. And doesn't it, your, your other, your prior dream, it seems to me, was even more on this theme of mm -hmm. what is yours to do and what is, that you were involved with what is others to do. Yeah, yeah. That's the way I would call it. But, yeah. Um, so these two are like, together are a powerful set. Right. And like in last night in the dream, I had no goals in the dream. But today I had a goal. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, okay, great. I can see now how to do my goal. Here is my stuff. So then I could just do it. And it was easy. 
Yeah, it's easy. No effort. No. Snap. That's called the snapperoo. The Greek. snapperoo approach. <laughs> All right. That's right. The accent is on the syllable. <laughs> Well, and not the usual repercussions either. I mean, didn't ah, you expect the repercussions of that I did? Like, Gina? Maybe that's me interpreting. Gina, could I have you? You mean with the separating the Why are you sitting in the back row? Well, I have had that encounter with them before, and it goes nowhere. I don't feel comfortable. All right, just, just. Yeah. Oh, well, she's not sitting at all now. Yeah. Not sitting at all. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I think he has decided to take over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I think I'm wondering, I see now the emergence of the self and the experience yeah. and how that comes hey, up in the moment and seeing it's not yourself and then clearly seeing it's yourself and how to go that yeah. direction. Yeah. Could you bring yeah. in the aspect of the intelligibility? Well, as soon as I s saw myself emerge, I said, hey, this is intelligible. See? This is intelligible. See? Yeah. It's a different kind of intelligibility, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Different yeah. from what? I'm not from the kind of intelligibility you talk about in your classrooms. Thank you. <laughs> it's direct. Yeah, yeah. It's simple. Yeah. They wanted some too. Has a power. Yeah, and it seems to go with the beauty idea, Amar. Yeah, and that beauty is in it, isn't it? A the very important part of it. And it was beautiful, it was intelligible at the same time. I, I like the idea that you brought up about the separation because it reminded me of something that I didn't say earlier about this question of the mm -hmm. intelligibility mm -hmm. of the model and the self and how the self relates to each moment, mm -hmm. that there has to be some kind of distribution mechanism in that yes. relationship. Mm -hmm. You mean distinguishing self from not self? Well, uh, no. Uh, like Pierre talked about a certain excellence emerged because of this separation and the realization that you had. Mm. So there has to be an apportionment <clears throat> coming from on high to all. If it's not just you, but every single self in the universe, every single soul has got exactly what it needs to have these kinds of breakthroughs. Yes. Yep. They go together. <laughs> Wanted yeah. to help her. Yeah. And so, so, so you helped me. Your reflection helps me to to, to get that out. Hmm. Uh, I don't know that it answers the question, but yeah, but it's but it helps it helped it along. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, well, I don't know if I captured it. Was it was a right. statement rather than a question. How, how does a model for intelligibility in each moment and the self relate to that moment by moment intelligibility? It sounds like a question, but it's a statement. <laughs> how does the model for intelligible in and what, what's the in each moment? No, no, the self. How does? It, could you just read your question again? With how does a model for intelligibility in each moment and the self, and the self. relate to that moment? by moment intelligibility. Hmm. That was just my yeah, way yeah. of synopsizing it. Yeah. I think where you have the self, there you have intelligibility. Mm -hmm. There it is. Is that they're not as separable. Like yeah. is that a standard or a measure? How to know when yourself is there? Intelligibility is there? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like that. That's what she's saying. That is what she is saying. Yeah. yeah, keep, keep. That makes me think, though, that if it's less intelligible, there's less self. I don't know if that was. No self. Wait a there second. Isn't any I'm left. still wondering about his question. You said where there is intelligibility, there is the self, or where there is the self, there is intelligibility? Yeah. So, that, like, if you. That certain kind of intelligibility. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was just so alive, and um, but it was a, an intelligibility that answered 
my confusion that took mm -hmm. care of my mm -hmm. confusion and anger of not being able to uh, when you say answer do you mean like made sense of or explained or yeah and it, it um it made it a good thing that I had mm. separated the clothes out and that um, I identified what was mine and because then I could do it. Um, and I remember thinking, okay, I'm giving it priority too. It's, it's going to come first. Um, and it was like, yeah, that's intelligible, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm the one doing it. I'm the one who needs it right now. So it was, it just all made sense. And it redistributed a way of being. Right. Now you're on a different level from this point on. Right. And so is he. Right. It has yeah. an effect on him as right. well. <clears throat> yeah, totally. And likely, right here, we're having, you're sharing something that's going to move us correspondingly. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. So by sharing this curious thing, yeah. it increases <clears throat> our own insight and intelligibility of the moment, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's a certain high level of excellence. Right. Yeah, and so because I didn't continue the anger, he and I were able to talk a little. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, differently? Well, yeah, we were able to talk differently, uh, and we both got, I got to see that my schedule would actually, is not going to uh, interfere with his schedule, and that we're, I'm going to be able to do everything today, and he's going to be able to do what he needs to today too, so. Give things their proper spot. Yeah, because if I get angry, I'll pull away. I'll just I'll just sl slam the door and go into the room and. <laughs> so by not being angry. That kind of not good. You've done that? <laughs> Thanking everybody. Okay, thank you. But I, okay. I have a question. Which is just, is like, there was intelligibility in her life before she got the insight, or whatever we want to call it, right? I guess, I see, so I'm curious, like, you called it a redistribution of being. I, I don't even think I understand that term. But, um, oh, you talked about this morning? The intelligibility that was in my life this morning before I got that insight? Well, we were talking about before about everything having a, a history, right? Uh -huh. Such that it arrived at this moment, and that history is uh, has it has everything has a telos, an end towards which it is going. But and so prior to that moment of redistribution, she'd been living out a different pattern, what I will call <coughs> the logos for the moment, but intelligible nonetheless, right? Mm -hmm. So then what accounts for the difference? Is it a difference in intelligibility? Or is it, um, what, what is it? What brought about that, you know? Well, one of the things was last night I was really struck by my dream, that I was not in my dream, you know? I was, ah. there, all these other people were in there and I was, and I had no goals and wow. I, and it was like, once again, I'm seeing myself in my dreams, doing nothing for and myself. And that no goal part, is really significant for you, right? Yeah, because I have goal, I have things to, that I want to do, and I'm not doing them. Um, but I'm not dealing with that in my waking life. Um, so it's showing up in my dreams, and once again, five paragraphs of I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so, so that was that was on my mind this morning as I was starting to put my laundry together in, you know, organizing my closet this morning. And um, so that gave me a little bit of impetus, I think. Some, some uh, So are we saying sensitivity or something? 
seeing the seeing the impact on your dream world. No, seeing the drama of your life in your dream, and it's cost, mm-hmm. like an Achilles moment. <coughs> yes. You, you follow what I'm saying? I'm not using exactly your language. I'm, tr- I'm trying to see a general well, in what you're saying. In yeah. Your, well, in particular. In the dream, I didn't have any anger. Uh oh. But didn't you see? Well, you. What was it about seeing the dream? The dream that brought. What was it that, that brought that? What is, what is it that you saw in that? That's in the connected dream? to this morning. Well, in the dream, I saw how good I felt in those two points. The relief I felt when I saw. Oh. What well, wasn't me? Wow. Was it, was it? Okay. No, I have it in my heart. No, that's very good, I think. Right? When you saw what wasn't you and the relief, because I remember that was right. a very strong yeah. feeling in the dream. Oh, yeah, right. When I said, oh, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, the flipping of the burgers, right. Mm-hmm. I said, I don't want to be doing this anyway. Um, but also yeah. when they, there was that moment, do you reflect when you realized that you were no longer a member of the university? I'm going to put it that way for lack of right, right, right. precision. Yeah. What did you call it? Um, yeah, that I wasn't part of this. Okay. No. See, Barbara is... Um, Reflecting, she's wondering how to generalize what you've gone through. You see, right. But the question is, will you be able to generalize it mm. from that one experience, or will it? <clears throat> or is it enough that you had a particular beautiful insight into this particular problem at this particular time? Well, actually, um, you know, after I had that insight this morning, um, see, I'm going to go have lunch with somebody later who every year he invites me for lunch. And it's it's always, like, kind of boring. It's what? It's boring. It's what? Always. <laughs> always. <laughs> See, I, I, in fact, I, I try. I've tried to invite other people to participate so that it can be less. Less boring. But that was a disaster last year. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go. But so this year. This year. I mean, today after today. I had that insight, I started to realize I can talk about what I want to at this event with him, and so. Then I started thinking, okay, this is going to be interesting then, because I'm going to talk about stuff that's meaningful to me. Mm. Say, why do you want to go? Well, that's a good question. Um, It's kind of like the free hamburger. What? (laughs) The free burger. (laughs) What? The free burger. You know, I'm, I'm getting a free meal, but... Oh, that, getting the free meal game. Yeah. Yeah. Free meal. But <laughs> yeah, even yeah. That, that was in the dream, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But even then I thought, you know, I don't have to get a meal. So so I chose a restaurant where I could just get like a smoothie. It's a health food restaurant. Huh? So. Um, and it would be in a... Okay. But this time I'm going to talk more about myself and ask him questions about himself to try to make it maybe whole at a time. There's a second part of your dream. Yeah, because the person that you're talking about, you have a long history where you know he's going to respond positively and, and uh, you have a good choice for a lunch because you have this background with this gentleman or woman, whatever it is. 
And you know it's going to be an interesting discussion. I think it could be. Pardon yeah. me, I don't, I don't understand the word could anyhow. I have trouble with that word. Do you have any insight into this person that suggests that they may respond positively to your kinds of questions and your kind of sharing? Yeah. The answer to that is yes. Yes. I do think there's some grounds where that person will respond positively. Yeah. Right? And then one of the questions that you might want to ask him yeah. is why is it we're having this lunch with a history of boredom? Um. Why, why are we celebrating each year of boredom when both of us have something to say right. and we're not saying it? Well, it, I, I actually exaggerated. Oh! <laughs> no, we, we, it's, only, it's only been one year that he and I got <coughs> had lunch together, but last year when he invited me, I kept putting it off because I thought, oh my God, this is going to be so boring. So I kept putting it off and putting it off. Finally, I invited this other person to come. And then she was really boring. <laughs> well, you have a great capacity for bringing on people that are boring. Was that the matchmaking lunch? <laughs> no. This is a great... Oh, yeah, the matchmaking lunch. Invite me. Sounds yeah. great. <laughs> oh, that was... That was... That, I learned a lot about this girl by doing that, but... This time I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with him head on and we're gonna talk. Can I ask and a question? It's gonna be meaningful. What's the it second part of your dream last night? The second part? Yeah. Um seeing the skinny guy walking up this and trying to do a sales job on him to mm -hmm. get a sponsorship for his bicycle tour. That he wants to do. Well and can do? He could, I think. He had the energy to bicycle, but he didn't seem to have the... He didn't want to do it. He said no. he couldn't. He couldn't. Yeah. Does that relate to the lunch? Yeah. Actually, the guy is kind of tall and skinny like that. You know? Is what? He's kind of tall and skinny. What did you say? He's tall. He, physically, he meets the description of the individual in the dream. <laughs> Well, actually, that's what I'm going to Oh, that's test. similarity. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually going to test that today. I want to see where he's at. Why? Are, are you interested <laughs> in this man? Yeah. yeah. Is there romance here? Didn't like, someone go, you know, go in the hospital right now? Do you need to cancel? You know, um, <laughs> I mean, I re you know, he used to work for me. And I think... You know, I wonder why he wants to invite me for lunch. I mean, it's for my birthday. And every year he, you know, wants to take me out for lunch for my birthday. And I'm wondering why he wants to do that. Have you asked him? No. Oh, well, maybe you will this time. I think I'll ask him this time. Um, Whoa. But also, he's got, he's, a, he's an artist. And a video maker, and I've seen his videos, and so I... Uh, and uh, hold it, hold uh, it. Uh, <laughs> that gesture you just made. Yeah, and the tone of voice. <clears throat> Dead in the water. Dead in the water. Is that you just put down his work? Mm. Well, it was a school project here. I don't care what project it is, you just put it down, didn't well, you? Well, I... Well, it, well, I mean, I don't really know. Ah, uh, bullshit. That's a yes. Come on, man. <laughs> But I'm thinking that he's a resource that I might be able to use at some point. Do, does he have the kind of talent that you are interested in for some kind of goal? Will he fit into any kind of ideal project you might want to bring together and to do? I'm thinking he might. I don't That's like no. the word might. <laughs> I know, this is might. No. Uh, At this point, no. 
I, oh! I don't see any any substance wise I don't see any match yeah I can see why you want to have lunch with him so you mean he can bicycle no no I don't Jesus. Right. That's I it. made a mistake. Yeah. He can hold the camera. It's just taking part, taking care of yeah. the first part, and now she's working on the second. See, yeah. what we're doing is following Barbara's point, which is how much can you generalize from this experience for your whole life? Right. So she can see the right. dynamics in general applied in this case, which is an ideal question. I was actually wanting to apply it to our conversation. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. As well. Yeah. I wanted to bring it back to the yeah. question of the gap and yeah. the intelligibility of the model and the self. Right. <clears throat> but this That's is right. Purpose. No, no, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely. Right. See, it's an old problem, which is it, how much how much can you learn from any learning experience? Can you generalize it? Is it possible to expand on the insight and include other things that are a like kind? Or do you have to wait for each particular insight in order to cover each of these events? So the example you gave is that you were looking forward to this luncheon. More than I did last year. Last year, all, all I could see was, no, please, I don't want to go, and I'll say yes because I feel I have to. And I had that feeling this morning until after the laundry scene. And then I started to realize as I drove here today that I could um, make it more meaningful. Yeah. Talk to him about this kind of stuff, and ask him what he's doing with his life. And because I, he and I have had some conversations when he used to work for me that were very interesting. And I always, at those moments, would see that he was interested in more spiritual level things. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm thinking now maybe he's. You know, I'm wondering where he's at with that. How come you never brought him around? I mean, if that's what you just said is true. Well, he lives far away. Oh, okay. Right. His English, I don't know, I think it's kind of, he's Korean, so his English isn't all that good. Hmm. I mean, it is. I, I, he graduated from college, but he kind of plays a role, maybe, of... Finish the sentence. ...that he doesn't quite understand. And sometimes when he's talking to me, I don't quite understand what he's saying, because... He works for Korean companies, so he hmm. gets into... The fact that he gets out of an expensive university with a degree doesn't mean anything about his capacity to speak English or understand it. He had the capacity to pay the university bills. That's what that means. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry, that's me being sarcastic. But what about the spirituality then? That's what you plan to capitalize on, is it? Well, I don't know. But well, I think well, you, you said you had questions. questions to ask him, and assuming since you just surfaced a positive that he has some spirituality, therefore putting together your spirituality and his mm -hmm. spirituality, I thought a meeting of spiritualities and questions. So you've mm. raised the level right. of dis possible right. discussion on a higher level. Mm -hmm. okay, and possible film projects yeah. of spiritual yeah. nature. Hmm. Right? And ask him why. Or what did you have in mind when you thought? But and what ask she him said. Why he wants to take well, me I, out. I didn't yes. get what Gina said. Did you? <laughs> I could ask him why he keeps asking me to go out. What did you say? I said to ask him why he's asking her to go out. Maybe he see? sees something and would like to share it. Well, it, it, yeah, it, actually, down. that's a good one. Down. And it looks like that you have a common bound. You have a lot in common that you want to share. Some on this nice <laughs> right. level. <laughs> You're laughing because... Well, there was a guy who brought him into my lab back when I worked, uh, managed that lab. And um, there, that was a Korean guy who was very funny. Um, 
and it was his sister who I invited last time to go out. And she's very, very closed down, and uh, it's crazy how closed down she is. She's very private. She's got a master's degree in social work from Columbia. <laughs> And but she get another university doing its job. Career choice path. Her you brother, her brother speak? has gone Let's on to become sociology. like a millionaire banker, and um, so I, I want to make I want to like poke fun at him for a little. <laughs> We're hoping I want to talk to this guy about the banker, the guy, the guy who. About somebody bank. else. Yeah. Rather than yourself and his. I'm gonna plot to try to stir him up. <laughs> I, have a, I have a question though that goes back to Pierre's earlier question, which was you saw a history or you saw several times that you um, weren't addressing a certain issue. That is, you were allowing people doing work for other people. Oh, um, what? In, in a similar way, what is it that, um, like in that sense, to go back to the question that was asked about generalization, you saw, would you not, that you were you had a pattern, and it was in many situations, and you were doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, and I think. Pierre's asking the question, can you do what the state that you came to this morning and extend it to many situations? Or what would it what would it mean or what would you have to do to do that? In that in that sense. I don't know. And I think the example was maybe you could extend it to this guy. But you also mentioned goals for yourself. Yeah. And what about those? Yeah. I think that's the better way to go, trying to tackle the goals for myself. Yeah. Gee, that's rather strange. Start putting yourself first. <laughs> right. Otherwise, I have to wait around till I get angry and then say, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like I'm that. off. Okay. <clears throat> Gina, we have a yeah. talk. Yeah, we do. Now? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. Yes, thank you, good sir. Thank you, Julie. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Pierre. Bob Burroughs. Right? Thanks, Julie, for sharing. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Win today. Pleasure.